Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use Visual Studio Code to connect to a Docker container. So first of all, I'm going to open the Visual Studio Code and I'm going to install the Docker extension. So to install a Docker extension, I will go in the, uh, in the extensions and I will search Docker and I will press enter and I will install this extension Docker by Microsoft.com. Click install and the installation process has been started it has been installed uh, the next step is i will open a terminal from here okay so look i have already opened this docker desktop right now i don't have any container images so first i'm going to create a, a docker file okay so let me show you the directory where i'm going to do all this so i have already created this docker file let me just open it uh, open this file and let me just show it so this is my docker file okay uh, postgres image okay set environment variable so the user i have set as postgres and the password i have given is admin and the database name i have given is is the demo okay this is the port that uh, i will connect okay copy initialization script so i have all uh, i have created the initialization script as well uh, that will copy this script in in the container okay now let me show you the initialization script and this is the initialization script uh, that is going to create a table okay and then it is going to insert uh, one row in a table okay this is the script initialization script okay let me just open it in in the notepad plus okay notepad okay this is the script now uh, what i need to do is that i will run few few scripts so the first script that i'm going to run is this one uh, so in order to create a docker file i have already created this file now i'm going to build the docker image okay this is going to be the name of my docker image okay docker build minus t and this will be the name of my docker uh, image and space dash okay space uh, sorry dot so you have to put dot uh, after space and now i'm going to run this okay uh, go to the terminal so i'm already in the terminal i will open the command prompt quickly open the command prompt and I will go in the directory here. Let me just copy and paste it over here. So I will go here, go to the E directory, this one, dir. Okay, now I'm going to run this command to, to create an image, docker image. Now let me just run it, build it, okay? Just build this. Now you're going to see the docker image, okay? Right now there is no, look, it has been created, the docker image has been created now the next step is to to run the container so in order to run the container this is the command that i am going to use docker run minus d minus p this is the port okay the dash dash name this is the name of my image okay this is sorry this is the name of my container okay once the container will be created this will be the name and this will be the name of my image which is my postgres okay now minus d means that it will run in detached mode okay now let me just run this command and it will uh, create a container for me okay now let me just run it run okay so this one is the container let me show it in the docker desktop image image is also created and this one is the container okay now the next step is connect to postgres access the running container now i want to access the running container i want to run the queries okay so i have created this table in the image file uh, which one this one this table and i want to uh, query this table so, so so that to do that i'm going to uh, execute this uh, command docker this uh, dash it this one is the name of the container psql dash u u is the user okay so this user i have specified in the docker file minus d this one is the name of my project so if you look at the file here 
let me just open a file docker file i have already provided the configuration look in it look at uh, look at the uh, look demo admin postgres is the user okay now i'm going to uh, connect to this i'm going to access the container running container so the container is already running so let me just quickly run this and you will see okay look i am into demo database so this is the database now inside this database a table has been created with name users select star from users and semicolon at the end enter look i am able to access this table users is the table and it has only two rows um, id 1 and 2 okay now i hope you have gone through the process of uh, uh, using docker in in visual studio code uh, uh, thank you so much and have a great learning